Did you know that the Earth's rotation is slowing down over time? This means that every day, the Earth takes slightly longer to complete a full rotation than it did the day before. Since the beginning of time, the concept of time has held a special allure for people. We make use of it to provide structure to our lives, quantify the passage of time, and keep tabs on the development of history. However, time is not merely an abstract concept or a straightforward unit of measurement. It is a multifaceted and enigmatic force that exerts influence over our world in a variety of ways that we are only just beginning to comprehend. In this video, we will discuss some mind-boggling facts about time that will leave you stunned and perplexed after reading them. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. There is no absolute time. The concept that time is relative is one of the most mind-boggling aspects of the passage of time. This indicates that depending on your frame of reference, the passage of time might seem either faster or slower than it actually is. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity demonstrated that the passage of time slows down as one gets closer to traveling at the speed of light. This indicates that an astronaut flying at nearly the speed of light will have a very different perception of time compared to a person living on Earth. Number 9. It is conceivable to travel across time. According to the rules of physics, traveling through time is not only a possibility, but also has the appearance of being something from the realm of science fiction. Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrated that it is theoretically conceivable to travel across time and into the future by moving at speeds close to that of light. However, time travel into the past is still a mystery because it would require manipulation of time itself in order to be possible. Number 8. Time is not an unchangeable factor. The fact that time is relative rather than absolute is just another mind-boggling aspect of it. This indicates that time could be measured differently in various locations across the cosmos. When you are in close proximity to a large object, such as a black hole, the passage of time will seem to slow down. This occurs as a direct result of the influence that gravity has on the very fabric of space-time. Number 7. It is possible to warp time. Time can be altered not just by the effects of gravity and motion, but also by other forces. This indicates that depending on where you are in the cosmos, it may seem as though time is passing more quickly or more slowly. The phenomena of time dilation, which was predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, demonstrates that the passage of time can be warped by the rate at which an item travels or by the force of gravity. Number 6. Time is not a fixed quantity. In spite of what some of us may believe, time is not a fixed entity. In point of fact, Time can pass differently for different people depending on where they are and the factors that are operating upon them. The existence of large objects such as black holes, which can alter the fabric of space-time, can also have an effect on the passage of time. Number 5. It is possible to go back in time. The principles of physics make it feasible to travel back in time, even though doing so might appear to be impossible. This suggests that it is possible, at least on a quantum level, to reverse the effects of actions that have already taken place. According to one interpretation of the phenomenon known as quantum entanglement, particles can get entangled in a way that makes it possible for information to move across time in the opposite direction. Number four, time is a dimension. There are three dimensions of space, but there is also a fourth dimension, time. This is yet another mind-boggling aspect of time. It is a dimension. This indicates that time is not only a measurement of the passage of events, but also a physical dimension that is susceptible to being altered and twisted in various ways. Number 3. The passage of time can be experienced in a variety of ways. Time is a personal sensation that can be perceived differently by various people at different times. Depending on their frame of mind, this indicates that depending on how focused or attentive you are, time can either appear to flow more quickly or more slowly than it actually is. When one is totally engrossed in a work, a state known as flow might occur, in which time appears to stand still. Number 2. Time is not a linear construct. Time does not move in a straight line from the past to the present to the future, despite the common misconception that this is how time works. The occurrence of time loops gives the impression that certain occurrences are capable of being repeated and relived, resulting in a non-linear perception of the passage of time. People have a tendency to think of time as a linear construct, in which events take place one after the other in a specific order. 
According to our understanding, time only flows in one direction, moving backwards from the past to the present and then forwards into the future. This comprehension of the passage of time is deeply ingrained in our day-to-day -day lives, from the schedules we adhere to the history that we study. However, the idea of time as a construct that unfolds in a linear fashion is being called into question by modern physics. The theory of relativity developed by Albert Einstein states that time is not a fixed concept. Rather, it varies depending on the perspective from which it is viewed. Therefore, depending on the relative speed and gravitational fields of the observer and the object that is being observed, time may appear to move either more slowly or more quickly than it actually is. In addition to this, the idea of time as a linear construct works under the assumption that the past, the present, and the future are all distinct from one another. On the other hand, there are scientists who subscribe to a hypothesis called the block universe theory, which asserts that all three modes of time can coexist with one another. According to this hypothesis, the events that take place in the past, in the present, and in the future all take place within the same four-dimensional region of space-time. This indicates that time is not a linear construct, but rather a complex and multi-dimensional idea that is influenced by a variety of circumstances rather than a linear construct. It's possible that the conventional way we think about time, which is a continuous passage from the past to the future, is just a simplified portrayal of a far more complicated reality. The repercussions of these ideas about time are far-reaching, and they call into question our conventional understanding of causation and determinism. If the past, present, and future all exist at the same time, then the concept of causality becomes muddled, and it's possible that things that will happen in the future will have an impact on things that happened in the past. This is a mind-boggling idea that throws our basic knowledge of cause and effect into question. Number 1. Time may be infinite. Did you know that time may be infinite? While our understanding of time is limited to the observable universe, some theories suggest that time may extend beyond the confines of our universe. The idea of an infinite timeline challenges our traditional understanding of time as a linear concept with a beginning and an end. In fact, the concept of time itself is a subject of much debate among physicists and philosophers. Some argue that time is an illusion, while others view it as a fundamental aspect of the universe. Regardless of how we perceive time, the fact remains that it plays a crucial role in our daily lives. From the ticking of a clock to the aging of our bodies, time is an ever-present force that affects everything around us. But what if time is truly infinite? Would it change the way we view our place in the universe? Would it challenge our understanding of life and existence itself? These are questions that we may never fully answer, but the mere possibility of an infinite timeline is enough to leave us awestruck and wondering about the mysteries of the universe. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.